the Badger Canyon and dangle off its massive cliffs like a madman to attempt a shot of the river from a rare angle. Clay says in the morning he'll introduce me to another guide who knows Badger Canyon's every nook and cranny better than anyone. Badger Canyon is a favourite spot of Arizona's hikers and climbers. But I'm hunting for a new perspective, you know, something really unique. That's why Clay hooked me up with local hiking guide, Kurt Robinson. Kurt, there's just so much land out here, you can walk for miles and miles, feel like you get nowhere. Yeah, it's big country out here, isn't it? We got about three miles of canyon rim to cover here. Kurt's taking me to a secret view of Badger Canyon that very few have seen. You want to be careful out here. The stone is quite slippery and loose. We lost some of it last year. Got a gust of wind or vertigo or something, and off they went. This is one I was telling you about. Thought you might like it. This is Badger Creek. It's a stunning view. There's just one problem. Kurt, it's a great composition, but the only way I can shoot it with the river in the background is to get down on the ledge there, legend. Well, that's what I brought this rope for. So we can't walk around this at all? No. Nope. Well, I'm going to rig you up with this rope and uh, belay you off there. Then you're on your own. What, straight down the sheer rock face? Yeah. Well, mate, there's no other options, mate. We've got to bloody do it. Each leg goes through there. This one goes around your waist. Huh? Pay attention to how that's tied on. Okay. That's going to take all your weight. Make sure it's good and tight. Perfect. I'm going to be anchored to these boulders. Hopefully, they won't move too much. How are they? Pretty Punch. good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, legends, let's get the show on the road. What you got to do is trust me. Yep. You got to lean out away from the wall and have your feet against the wall. Geez, mate, looking over the edge there makes me puke. Whoa. And I got you. Lean out, get your feet, keep your legs out straight against the wall. Keep your feet stable, lean further back, there you go. But I'm so focused on keeping my feet planted on this sheer cliff that I'm not paying enough attention to looking for a shot. OK, hold it there, mate. Dangling high above the Colorado, I can see the view from the ledge below will be unreal. If I can make it there in one piece. We there yet? Yeah. Finally, I feel rock under my feet. I'm on the ledge. This is a tiny little cave. It's only about six foot across and six foot back. Huge bloody challenge getting in here, but it could be a really interesting shot. And you've got to pursue angles like this, because that's what photography's all about, getting that different perspective. Really hope there's nothing living in the bloody thing. Jeez, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. I mean, who knows? And when there's droppings everywhere, the shot's actually bloody insane. It's beautiful, looking straight out. And the light's getting really soft, so it's giving me a nice glow around the inside of the cave. I'm using a really wide-angle lens so I can get as much of this cave in as possible. Amazing animal's perspective inside of the cave, looking out straight down the Colorado River. So I've got three different layers. We've got the entrance of the cave, down through the rocks, and the mountains just peeling off in the background. I mean, this place is photographed by millions of people a year, and I've actually never seen a canyon shot in this sort of perspective before. <laughs> Love the sound of that shutter. We're on the road and we're right out of here.